Samantha and welcome back to my Vanilla Mom channel. So today's video is all about my 2016 goals. I really try to keep this list light because I don't want to stress myself out by making too many goals. And so it's really a simple list. I talked about my crafty goals over on my The Scrap Master channel, so you can check that out. I'll link that down below. This is just my personal and family goals. So for one of my goals, I really want to bump up our savings. Since having a baby, our spending has just been pretty much out of control. We're not dipping into our savings or anything. We're just not saving as much as I'd like to save. We've got a new car payment. We've got a new baby. We just really need to rein in on the crazy spending. So I am going to be doing a budget video. Look for that coming up on my channel soon. It's going to be either this week or next week. But I really want to stick to a budget a lot better than we did this last year. Another goal is before Olivia's second birthday, I want to wean her from nursing. I have really enjoyed our breastfeeding experience. I'm so thankful and grateful that I was able to nurse her and I really want to nurse her through one year for sure, unless she self weans and then I'll have to deal with that. But I really want her to be completely weaned by the time she's two years old. I'm not going to push her really hard to wean her. I'm not going to you know, cut her off cold turkey or anything, but I really want to start encouraging her to self wean. And so I'm going to just give her the little nudges to try to encourage it. And I'd like to be fully weaned by two years. So that's just going to be my big overarching goal, unless she self weans at some point and then mission accomplished. <laughs> Another thing I want to work on this year is I really want to declutter our house, especially my scrapbook room. There's so much stuff in here. I feel like this could be a really fun craft room for Olivia and I, but right now it's just not childproof. This is one of the few rooms she is not allowed in at all. There's just way too many little pieces everywhere. I don't have everything tidied up. I'd really like to get this room really decluttered and childproof so she can be in here and we can craft in here together coming up soon. Um, but there's other areas of the house I'd really like to get decluttered. We just have a lot of junk sitting around and, and I really haven't been super motivated to get rid of all of it. So I'm really going to try to work on that. As far as my YouTube goals, I've got a couple of goals for my YouTube channels. I just want to post five videos a week. So I'll be posting Monday through Friday. This is going to change my posting schedule. I've been posting Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. I am now going to be posting Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And on my crafty channel, I'll be posting Tuesday, Thursday. So I'll have videos Monday through Friday between the two channels. I'm going to really try to stick with that. And the thing is, I've got so many ideas, so many video videos I'd like to film, but I just don't have the editing time or the time to sit down and film them. I'm really struggling to get into some sort of routine because when she's napping, I can't talk very loud in this room. I've been like whispering and people have been complaining that, you know, the volume's all messed up. So I've really got to make some time on the weekends or the evenings to try to film videos. And then of course I don't have lighting if it's during the evening. Right now my husband's downstairs watching Olivia. I'm really gonna have to figure this out to get onto some sort of better filming thing. So that's a really big goal of mine is to just stick with the Monday Friday video schedule and keep posting videos for you guys. I really have loved having YouTube as an outlet for, um, I don't know, just for creativity, just for something that's more adult. It's my, my outlet right now and it's really helped me stay sane with all the baby stuff because if you're a stay-at-home mom and all you do is do the mom thing, it gets really isolating. And so I really want to continue with this. This is my outlet that makes me feel more like me again um, rather than just a milk machine. So yeah, I definitely want to stick with that. Um, and one of my goals is, this is kind of my dreamy one if I have time, I definitely want to continue working on my planner printable shop. I was working on it really great until Olivia got a tiny bit older and then I have not worked on any kind of printable designs. And I just love planner stuff. I love planner printable designs. I love just messing around in Illustrator and making new designs. So I really want to continue with that. It is a really fun thing for me. And again, I've just not made a lot of time for that. I definitely want to continue doing crafty stuff, doing the planner printable stuff and making videos for you guys. 
I do have eat healthy on my list, but I'm not going to really make big changes to our diet at this point. I really am happy with where we are, except I really need to cut my sugar. But I'm going to have to work on that after I wean her because right now I'm just so hungry all the time and I crave sweets all the time. It's just not something I'm going to work on right now. That's it for my goals video. Now I want to hear from you guys. What are your goals for 2016? Leave them in the comments below. If you did a goals video, leave me a link to that video. I'd love to watch you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like making goals. And be sure to subscribe so you can follow me along this year. And have a great day.